Cell Death, Wikipedia Article Audio Cell death is the event of a biological cell ceasing to carry out its functions. This may be the result of the natural process of old cells dying and being replaced by new ones, or may result from such factors as disease, localized injury, or the death of the organism of which the cells are part. Kinds of cell death include the following. Programmed cell death is cell death mediated by an intracellular program. PCD is carried out in a regulated process, which usually confers advantage during an organism's life cycle. For example, the differentiation of fingers and toes in a developing human embryo occurs because cells between the fingers apop toes, the result is that the digits are separate. PCD serves fundamental functions during both plant and metazoa tissue development. Apoptosis or type I cell death, and autophagy or type II cell death are both forms of programmed cell death, while necrosis is a non-physiological process that occurs as a result of infection or injury. Necrosis is cell death caused by external factors such as trauma or infection and occurs in several different forms. Recently a form of programmed necrosis, called necrotosis, has been recognized as an alternate form of programmed cell death. It is hypothesized that necrotosis can serve as a cell death backup to apoptosis when the apoptosis signaling is blocked by endogenous or exogenous factors such as viruses or mutations. Mitotic catastrophe is a mode of cell death that is due to premature or inappropriate entry of cells into mitosis. It is the most common mode of cell death in cancer cells exposed to ionizing radiation and many other anti-cancer treatments. Autophagy is cytoplasmic, characterized by the formation of large vacuoles that eat away organelles in a specific sequence prior to the destruction of the nucleus. Apoptosis is the process of programmed cell death that may occur in multicellular organisms. Biochemical events lead to characteristic cell changes and death. These changes include blebbing, cell shrinkage, nuclear fragmentation, chromatin condensation, and chromosomal DNA fragmentation. It is now thought that in a developmental context cells are induced to positively commit suicide whilst in a homeostatic context, the absence of certain survival factors may provide the impetus for suicide. There appears to be some variation in the morphology and indeed the biochemistry of these suicide pathways, some treading the path of apoptosis, others following a more generalized pathway to deletion but both usually being genetically and synthetically motivated. There is some evidence that certain symptoms of apoptosis such as endonuclease activation can be spuriously induced without engaging a genetic cascade, however, presumably true apoptosis and programmed cell death must be genetically mediated. It is also becoming clear that mitosis and apoptosis are toggled or linked in some way and that the balance achieved depends on signals received from appropriate growth or survival factors. Macroautophagy, often referred to as autophagy, is a catabolic process that results in the autophagosomic, lysosomal degradation of bulk cytoplasmic contents, abnormal protein aggregates, and excess or damaged organelles. Autophagy is generally activated by conditions of nutrient deprivation but has also been associated with physiological as well as pathological processes such as development, differentiation, neurodegenerative diseases, stress, infection, and cancer. Other pathways of programmed cell death have been discovered. Called non-apoptotic programmed cell death, these alternative routes to death are as efficient as apoptosis and can function as either backup mechanisms or the main type of PCD. Other forms of programmed cell death include anoikis, 
almost identical to apoptosis except in its induction, cornification, a form of cell death exclusive to the eyes, excitotoxicity, ferrotosis, an iron-dependent form of cell death and Wallerian degeneration. Plant cells undergo particular processes of PCD similar to autophagic cell death. However, some common features of PCD are highly conserved in both plants and metazoa. Activation-induced cell death is a programmed cell death caused by the interaction of FOS receptor and FOS ligand. It occurs as a result of repeated stimulation of specific T-cell receptors and it helps to maintain the periphery immune tolerance. Therefore, an alteration of the process may lead to autoimmune diseases. In the other words AICD is the negative regulator of activated T-lymphocytes. Ischemic cell death, or oncosis, is a form of accidental, or passive cell death that is often considered a lethal injury. The process is characterized by mitochondrial swelling, cytoplasm vacuolization, and swelling of the nucleus and cytoplasm. Immunogenic cell death or immunogenic apoptosis is a form of cell death caused by some cytostatic agents such as anthracyclines, oxaliplatin, and bortezomib or radiotherapy and photodynamic therapy. Pyrotosis is a highly inflammatory form of programmed cell death that occurs most frequently upon infection with intracellular pathogens and is likely to form part of the antimicrobial response in myeloid cells. The term cell necrobiology has been used to describe the life processes associated with morphological, biochemical, and molecular changes which predispose, precede, and accompany cell death, as well as the consequences and tissue response to cell death. The word is derived from the Greek new epsilon kaparo meaning death, beta omicron meaning life, and lambda gamma omicron meaning the study of. The term was initially coined to broadly define investigations of the changes that accompany cell death, detected and measured by multi-parameter flow and laser scanning cytometry. It has been used to describe the real-time changes during cell death, detected by flow cytometry.